Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see, we're standing outside of the Curtis Institute of Music, one of the best music schools in the world. Out of the thousands who audition here every year, only a few get accepted. That's a 4% acceptance rate and only 155 students, all of whom are on full tuition scholarship. Now, I tried to audition here twice. I didn't get in the first time, but on my second attempt when I was 15 years old, finally got in, was accepted, and came to school here. So today we're gonna do something a little different. We managed to get our hands on a Curtis student who has agreed to show us around, take us on a little tour, and also also answer your questions about what life is like at the best music school in the world. Let's go. All right, so I'm excited to introduce to you guys Alexandra Corman, second year violinist here at Curtis, studying with Ida Kavapian. Hi guys, yeah. hope you're doing well. I'm so happy to show you around Curtis. It's really an amazing place. We don't want to take up too much of your time today, so we'll get right to it. You know, we collected a bunch of questions from the community asking about what life is like at Curtis and also a lot of questions around the audition. Wait, how many times did you audition? Just once. What? But then I definitely did many other auditions before that just to be really ready. <laughs> out of all the questions that were asked, actually one popped out to me, which is, uh, how's the food like at Curtis? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you know, honestly, it's pretty good because you have a lot of choice. So you can have and only vegetables and a lot of meat and vegetarian, vegan. What's a typical day like? Like, did you just come from class just now? Yes. So normally we do have class every day, at least for two years. It's mandatory classes like keyboard studies, core studies, solfege, you know, all those theory classes. And then normally in your third year, you're more free to practice, to perform, you know, get concerts. So it's a really busy time for your two years. Oh, okay, got it. So are there like non-musical classes or is it mostly like 80% musical? Or right, so first year normally you have only like those solfege theory classes and then you can have elective classes which are more about uh, philosophy, uh, maths, you can have also languages like I'm taking a German class 9 a.m. in the morning like four times uh, in the week. So that's, that's useful, that's useful. I took the German class here as well. Uh, great. So today it's a weekday and obviously people are in classes. There are two buildings, right, in Curtis. There's the old building, which we are right. in right now. But then there's also the new building, right? Right, Lenfest Hall. Lenfest Hall. Are the classes mostly here or are the lessons here? Um, it's a little bit of a mix of it. So we have a few classes here. Normally the lessons, like with Mrs. Kavafian, I have always here. Keyboard studies or solfege that we have there in the Lenfest Hall. Wow. Well, I was just noticing that things have changed around here since I was a student. So I can't wait to take a look around. Well, I'm really curious about seeing what is new here. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Let's go take a look. So what we just passed was the main foyer where everybody can meet. Wow, it looks so different from what I was Yeah, doing. it's brand new. Yeah, there. there used to be so much glass everywhere and now it's like so much more open. I didn't know that. It's yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah. It's yeah so. so this is the studio where we mainly have lessons, for example, with Mrs. Kavafian, my teacher. So violin lessons, also chamber music, okay. for example, with Mr. Tenenbaum. But can we see a practice room? Definitely. Yeah. All right, all right, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Oh, you, you can open it? I oh. think so. Oh, wow. Let's the try have key cards the main now. key. Oh, wow. Here we go. Nice. It's a little loud, so this one we don't really use a lot. I think the building just lost power. They call it this the old building for a reason. <laughs> this is considered like not a, a large practice room, right? No, it's a little smaller than, than usual. It's pretty boomy in here. Exactly. So we don't really have classes in here or lessons. Right. My favorite are actually in the Lenfest Hall because they're really dry. You can hear all the details. Uh, so that's very good. All the bad things. We're going to go check out another practice room in here. It's like a bigger one, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, there's even a Cinderella tower here. <laughs> Milk of Island Artist Studio. Nice. Yes. I yes. remember practicing in here mm. like a couple times. This one's definitely not as boomy. This is like the harpsichord room. Yes, you can try. <laughs> Would you have classes in here? Sometimes, yes. Chamber music too. Oh wow! This it's a little is... darker. Yeah. But it's it's good too. Wait, they got rid of the window here. Oh, I I didn't know. What there happened no to window. the window? There's no more window. There's an elevator There's now. There's an elevator. You have on camps employment, right? Yes, we There's do like... have. If you want, you can work a little bit here. For example, turn pages at a concert or after orchestra rehearsals, just put chairs back. Got it, got places. it. Oh yeah, yeah, I was stage crew. Yeah, back then they didn't have elevators. I, I well, picked uh, moving harps. Oh And they gosh. paid us per hour per flight of stairs. Wait, is this still the solfege room upstairs? That's a good question. I've never been. Yeah, we gotta go take a look. <laughs> Where are oh. we? This is Amy Yang's room, Associate Dean of Piano and Artistic oh. Initiatives. 
All right, wow. let's let's move on. Let's move on. We're outside of a class right now. What's going on in there? Apparently, there is a class here. I have no idea what it is, okay. but let's you can see some students in the class, very focused. They're very focused. They probably won't even see you. Oh my gosh. They've seen us. They've seen us. Okay, we gotta keep going. <laughs> gotta keep going. Yeah, we'll be they're learning the, the dark of arts of music. <laughs> it feels like I'm in. It feels like I'm in Hogwarts. Oh my gosh! I used to have my piano lessons in here. Really? Yeah, like in there. Oh, except now this is an office. Wait, it seems like that classroom is open. Maybe I could re relive my Curtis, my Curtis experience <laughs> right now. I go into right. class. Is there a class going on right now? No, right. You're just early. Are you a supplemental piano teacher? Yeah. Hi, I'm Tom Weaver. I teach uh, supplemental piano, keyboard studies, and core studies. The supplementary piano is like the class that all non-pianists have to take, right? Yes. As, as yeah. part of like one or two years? Two years. Two years. Alexander, you're coming up on your second? Yes. Second year, you got exactly. a jury coming up soon. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a student, I pretended I couldn't play piano, even though I had studied it for like seven years. Uh -huh. But I came in and I just sight read every single time. How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not encourage that. Never a good sign. <laughs> well, thanks so much for your time. Oh, yeah. That's where the auditions are held. Why, why is the lighting red in there? It makes it look so much scarier. I don't know. It's very strange. It's very strange. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to go check out a rehearsal that we're inviting ourselves to right now. Nah, just kidding. Alex invited us earlier. So come check this out. This is the Curtis Symphony Orchestra. Dang, this space is so huge. This wasn't here when I was a student. I mean, look at those floor to ceiling windows. Just like check them out. This is nice. When we were students back at Field Concert Hall, we could barely fit into that space. So I'm here with Elizabeth Rainoff. She's the orchestra manager for the Curtis Symphony Orchestra. And we just had a couple of questions. How often do the students rehearse? So every week is a little bit different because we have so many ensembles going on. Uh, usually in a concert week, it's every day. In a normal week without a concert, two or three times, depending on what we have going on. How long are the rehearsals on for? Usually two and a half hours. Added in with all the chamber music rehearsals, all the classes, and the, of course the personal practicing. That's a full, full schedule, right? Yeah, it's very long days. All of our rehearsals can't start before four because of the academic calendar. Sometimes we have rehearsals as late as 10 o'clock at night. And is it mandatory for all students to be a part of the Curtis Orchestra? If they're instrumental students, usually, yeah. It depends on the repertoire and the instrumentation needs. So I'm here with pianist Jenny Chen, who actually, we went to school together, yeah, right? Yes, I was 10 years old and you were 16 years old. I'm curious, it's like, what What do you do now? And like you told me that earlier you play for Midori Goto studio? Yes, yes, so I... Uh, all Midori students, I play for her and I actually recently just performed with her. How's that transition been from being a student to now suddenly like staff here? Yes, it, it's been a lot because you know I graduated Curtis when I was uh, about 18 years old and then that's when I got into Yale University and also uh, finished my master's there and did my doctor degree at Eastman School of Music. Then I came back to Curtis for um, the staff pianist position. It's so different because uh, I, I find more value now as a staff pianist that I, I I'm devoting to my life to a lot of students who need to go to competition auditions and then I'm, I'm trying to support everyone here and then it's yeah. it's been a great fun. We should do a collab sometime. <laughs> if you ever come to Curtis, definitely. I guess it's break time, right? It is break time. We'll be starting right now with all the modern pieces actually written by composers from Curtis self. Wow, Curtis composers. Exactly. So we will have a concert this Saturday. I won't bother you anymore because everyone's like looking at us being like, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, so these are the Curtis lockers. The big ones and the small ones. They must be really deep because I remember having a locker at school and it was just like, you could put your whole violin case in there. Ah, so nice, so nice. Wow, this is definitely state of the art. This building has a very different vibe from the old building. Wow, the bass room. Wow, check out all the bases. These are the new style practice rooms. Let's take a look at one. So different, right? It's very, very modern. You can see the church there. I can't tell like which room I'd be more inspired to practice in. I don't know, I, I think I'm still more of an old school person though. I would probably prefer to practice in the old building. What about you? Hard to say, right? Oh wow, this, this room is like a smaller room, no windows. It's more like the joy, wait, I shouldn't say the J word here. It's more like the other music school style. No pressure, no pressure. 
Oh, how's it going? I'm Ray. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Yunsu. Oh, hey. Well, yeah, we've met before. Nice oh, we're just uh, shooting a little video here. Hi, uh, I'm Charles Yunsu. <laughs> Yo, this is my sixth year. Sixth year. All right, yeah. cool. I'm Elias Ackerley. I'm a pianist in my fourth year. So it seems like most universities and colleges, there's like a four year program, but here at Curtis, like it's often the case that many people just extend, right? Mm -hmm. And so for you, is that like, how did that come about? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know I was going to be here for six years, obviously. I mean, I asked school if I could stay longer and they were, they were pretty cool about it. Oh, nice, <laughs> yeah, nice. Really were you younger when you got in? Uh, yes, I was 15. So chamber music is was, and during my time, like a really important part of you know your student life. You know, you it was almost like a popularity contest. It seems like you guys are rehearsing some chamber music here, right? How much like balance do you have, or emphasis do you place on it? I think for me, chamber music is the most important thing to learn at Curtis. I think uh, right now I'm doing like four groups. I mean, I did four groups until like a few oh, days ago. Popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really fun to do chamber music. I'm mean, they're promoting a, promoting a lot of interesting projects. Like they did the Holocaust uh, program until a few days ago. It just feels like they're just like providing me a good... Kind of like a basis. Yes, right? yeah. yes. Foundation. Yes. yes. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you know what they say. Even if you're playing solo or concerto, you always treat it like listening, like you're in chamber music. Right, right. As a pianist, I mean, it's like, if you're not doing any chamber music, you're, you're not in orchestra either, practicing by yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think chamber music is very underrated, actually. A lot of solo pianists, we just practice and we don't do much apart from practicing but I think chamber music really gets us to kind of network a little bit and kind of make friends I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, true that's I mean important. well I don't want to bother you too long so but thanks for uh, for, for sharing. Yeah. 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 Looks like I just bumped into another Curtis student. What's your name? Hi Ray. Hi. Hi. No what's your name? My name I'm, is I'm Hi Ray. <laughs> Your, your first year here at, at, at Curtis? Yeah, this is my first semester. Okay. Oh, wow, congratulations. Yeah. Wait, how old are you? Um, 17. 17, yeah. okay. And you just moved here. How are you liking it? I love Philadelphia. I still need to practice my English, but oh, I think uh, I just come here for four months. What city did you come from? Um, Shanghai. Were you at a music school there? Like, yeah. I mean, you would have been very young. Yeah. Yes, very young. Curtis, how is it different from you know the music school, that environment that you had yeah. in Shanghai? I think just have more opportunity with uh, the best musician in the world to have chance to play and performance. It's I was just talking about chamber music and so is that different? Like is there more emphasis on chamber music here than, yeah. at, than at home? But I will start my chamber music next semester. So next semester? Yeah, I'm okay. really excited. How was the audition like You know, oh. for you? Did you fly here to take the audition? No, I take the audition at the last year and it's online. I'm still getting very nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's very nervous. You're Do you nervous. have any tips for the viewers about like the audition at Curtis? When you start to play, just breathe and then think about music. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, solid advice. I'll try to keep that in mind. Thanks so much, Hyre. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. It's my honor. So while Alex is in rehearsal, we are going to go check out the Curtis cafeteria. I mean, I just saw people in there during orchestra break. They were able to just, you know, pop down and eat. That was something like I didn't used to have, but anyway, let's go check out the food. What's up? What's up? Just checking out the food. What's on the menu today? Uh, coffee. <laughs> coffee? How's it going? What, what's your name? I'm Jazz. Jazz, nice to meet you. I'm Ray. So what, what's on the menu for today? Um, today is wild rice, vegetables, broccoli, and steak, and pizza. Wow, this is this is the makings of great musicianship right here. And then over here is the Expo Bar, so this changes every week. Sometimes it's a mac and cheese bar. Right now I think it's a Greek bar. It's a produce market. So every Thursday there's different vegetables and stuff that they can buy to like take home and cook meals with. All these things that didn't exist <laughs> before. They have it good, they have it good. All right, so we've reached this moment in the video where we've seen most of the school. Thank you so much for showing us around. Of and uh, I think that most of us are also very, very curious um, about the audition. Yes. Yeah, right. So we've got a bunch of questions here. Mm -hmm. How is it like? What's the process like? Like for me, you know, back then we could pick our first piece in the first round. Okay. Is that still going on right now? So what was different for me is that I had online audition because it was still COVID times, but still there was a repertoire mandatory. So I think there was one Paganini Caprice, one Bach Sonata, one concerto, like Mozart concerto, and also a romantic concerto, like for example, Tchaikovsky, Sibelius, whatever you wanted. So it was basically mandatory repertoire, but you could choose a lot from it. Got it, got it. Were there still two rounds? Yes, two, two rounds. rounds. And a pre-screen 
uh, round, you had to oh. send videos first. Okay, okay. Do you know how many people auditioned? This year, there were like 1,200 in like all the sections together. Wow, wow. And how many yes. violinists got in I this year? eight. Wow, it depends on how many people graduate, right? Exactly, yes. So if oh. last year, for example, eight graduated, they take Got it. So, so it's like certain years you have like a greater chance of getting exactly. in. Exactly. It also depends, for example, the teacher. If the teacher says, oh, I already have like 16 students, I don't want more. What are some tips that you would give Give, like something that can give people a slight advantage you know there is definitely something that you can do is contact the teacher you want to study with of course it's it's very good because then you can talk with the teacher you can see if, if you know, you're the right teacher, fit, right exactly example Ida Kavafian my teacher has a lot of students in her class so I was very nervous that maybe she didn't want me mm. uh, but then yeah we got contact and then wow. I played for her I had master classes before so that was really good I wish that I had known as well definitely right. master classes before if you can have a contact even once it's like great. even music festival look up exactly. where they're where they're teaching or like just right. I mean these days with email right it's just so easy of course see I went and just went all the way from Australia all the way here oh. first year I, I only auditioned at one school that's also another question that yeah. some members of their community had is like is it good to audition only at one school or is it like sort of this is more of a general audition right audition, I think coming from Europe from Belgium I was really scared that I wouldn't be taken anywhere in America because I you know the level is so high so I auditioned to five different schools to Manhattan uh, Juilliard, Curtis. All right, all right. You, you're, you're saying all the ones that you rejected. All right, so like, let's just, let's just like, not not, let's not hurt anyone's feelings here. So it was really important, I think, in the process to, you know, be ready for auditions. Does it help to have an audition before the audition? I think it's really important to play before as much as possible, like run through your pieces. So if you have concerts, that's even better. So you have a public in front of you and you get nervous. Or just for your family, for your friends, just play through as much as possible and then you're not nervous anymore. Actually, this was a more of a life at Curtis kind of question because I've noticed that, you know, a lot of things have changed since I've been here. You know, it's gotten a lot brighter. Is there still a bit of competition between students? I think there's definitely, you know, a small competition that personally you feel a little bit because you want to be very good. Am I good enough? Am I, you know, uh, Curtis? You know, that's sort of like a level. pressure that you're, you place your exactly. on yourself. Exactly, I think everybody puts, yeah. yes, on their self. Honestly, it's like a big family here and that's what I really appreciate in Curtis. Well, anyway, thank you so much for spending your time with us today, away from your practicing. To be practicing, I feel like I hear somebody else practicing. Can we like go check in on someone oh, else yeah, practicing? Like, oh, let's yes, go check it out. See. Let's go check it out. Let's All right, see. bust in on a person's practice Ooh. room. <laughs> you know, this is the room that I used to like yes. have my lessons in. Right? Really? You have your lessons. In I too. still have. Yes. There's actually someone practicing. I let's let's go. In. Let's go check, check it out. Is this a practice police? You have to stop now. Stop now. Put your hands up in the air. All right, my hands are up. Oh, <laughs> it's just you. Well, since you're already here, let me show you around my opulent practice room today. So this was the space where I basically grew up in, where I had my first lessons at Curtis, to coachings, to of course, personal practice sessions. You could say that this room is probably where I improved the most as a musician. Now, what makes great progress, you might ask? Some say it's the teachers. I say it's a great learning environment. And that's what the Tonic Music app is. When you are part of a community where you see others practicing and working hard, it can really inspire you to make your progress so much more fun and enjoyable and faster too. So join Tonic today. Just like Curtis, it's free, only a lot easier to get in. I can't wait to cheer you on in your practice rooms.